Okay, we go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you going to a hotel in Pala? Yeah, I know the place. It's lucky for you. Pala has only one hotel still working. Hey, look at that. I see it. Hey, you move so much to the fire. It smells like a virus, I think. My brother, he has such a beautiful bangal with a bath, three kettle, a hey, hey, rich man. A brush fire destroyed everything, and now he left the country. Yeah, he'll be back. This is Liberation Radio, speaking the truth for the truth seekers. And the truth is that your country needs you. Beware the evil APR scorch. A plague has gripped our people. They're not fans of the DJ. Maybe his music choices, who knows? And what about some of the checkpoint is all on it? I mean, I'm going to go to the house. 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 My passenger, driving him to the hotel in town. You come from the airport? Yes, sir, the airport. Uh, gentlemen, you are posted here all day. Now, on my way back, I grab some cold beer. You drink beer? Yep, beer. We drink beer. Hurry up then. Move along. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. See you soon, sir. Then you just poison him of steam, right? You remember how you Everyone's 
trying to find a way out of the country. Only fools stay now. Hey, <laughs> fools and cab drivers. So good. You tired? Target's presence in the state continues to be a stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the joint signatory framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all, isn't it? You're fired. You know it, so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. I still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men, about what motivates them. Simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. <laughs> so long. Bagana Chaki! Better do some first aid on that. <laughs> 